Hello, you lovely people. Trust all of you are doing good. Today, I had gone to meet somebody. The person has two little kids. And the entire house was strewn over with lots of books around. And I loved that because the children were being inculcated with reading habits. So while flipping through one of their books, I happened to come through a small story. And you know, telling stories is my weakness or my passion. So I read that entire story while I was there at their place. And I would love to narrate that story to all of you. Please understand, it's a childhood kindergarten story, but it's got a meaning and a message for all of us. So this story is all about a crow. We all know a crow? Kawa. Yes. This crow was a little sad for the last couple of days. And he had been thinking, I am one of the most ugliest bird on this planet. Nobody likes me. People shoo me away the moment they see me or they hear me. I am surely the unluckiest bird. God has not been kind to me. And this was the reason of his unhappiness. So one fine day, while the crow was flying, near a pond, he spotted a beautiful white bird. And he quickly went to that bird. And he saw that was a swan, Hans. And he went to that swan and said, Hey swan, you're the most prettiest bird on this planet. You're so purely white, so serene, so good looking. The swan listened to him. And he said, No, my dear friend, I'm not the most prettiest bird on this world. I recently happened to see a parrot. And I loved the parrot. I have only one color. Whereas the parrot had two colors. The parrot had green and red. It was a wonderful combination. And the moment I saw the parrot, I fell in love with that bird. So as per me, the parrot is the most prettiest bird in the planet. The crow was a little surprised. But fine. He said, okay, thank you very much. And he flew away from here. While flying after a couple of days, he happened to sit on a tree. And the tree was full of parrots. He was so happy that finally he saw the happiest and the most prettiest birds on this planet. He quickly befriended a parrot and he went and complimented that parrot. My dear friend, you're so, so lucky. You're the most prettiest bird on this planet. You've got a green color and a red color. People must be loving you. The parrot said, no, my dear friend, I think you've never seen a peacock in your life. You should go and see a peacock in your life and probably it will change your opinion. The crow said thank you and he flew again. While flying, probably he was flying over a zoo and he spotted a beautiful bird in a large, large cage. He swiftly swooped down and went to that bird and he could recognize that yes, finally he had messed, met the most beautiful bird on the planet. And he went to the peacock and he said, Hey peacock, I just love you. Love the vibrancy in you. See the lovely colors, the beautiful feathers which you have. You're the most prettiest bird on this planet. The people from far and wide are coming to see you. And look at me, I'm so ugly. I'm pure black. People don't want to listen to me. The peacock kept listening to him. And he said, my dear friend, because I'm so pretty, I'm in this cage. People might be coming to see my beauty, but I have lost all my freedom. I cannot fly. And for my entire life, I have always wanted to be a crow like you. Why? Because nobody ever has caged you. You got the freedom to fly across wherever you want, live wherever you want. And look at me. I have always been caged. And so are my brothers and sisters across the world. The crow probably got his answer. And he moved away from there. Through the story, I would like to put across a very simple message. Let's not get into the comparison mode with anybody else. We are unique. We've been made with a lots of strengths and lots of uniqueness. And that is the reason no two people on this earth are same. No point in comparing ourselves with anybody on this earth. Everybody has got unique qualities. Because of this comparison, 
we probably lose our self esteem and we get into the depression mode no we should not never we all as i said have unique qualities let's nurture and hone those qualities and not compare ourselves with anybody we are unique let's continue to have our uniqueness with this thought i wish you all a very happy weekend enjoy your weekend let's meet on a refreshing monday with some new thoughts from all of you till then take good care of yourself good night